At the Empire State Building, lit up in red, white, and blue, in honor of an event championed by our own Bob Woodruff. It is the sixth annual benefit Stand Up for Heroes, raising money for wounded veterans. And stars from Bruce Springsteen to John Mayer will take the stage, including a group of veterans who will bring their powerful song. And Bob brings us that story. And last year's Stand Up for Heroes benefit, it was the boss bringing the house down. This year, joining him, a different band of brothers. I was in Kandahar in Afghanistan, and I lost my legs off the knee. Blew both my legs off the of knee immediately. Wounded veterans, now students of a program at Walter Reed called Music Corps. They are taught instruments, taught to use their new bodies. The idea came to pianist Arthur Bloom. While visiting the hospital, he noticed injured veterans sitting alone in silence for hours. You know, life was just blown up in every sense of the word. What we're trying to do is to really re-inject a sense of excellence. Excellence and healing. There actually are an increasing number of studies that show that music can help an injured brain heal. An uninjured part can compensate for an injured part. I have an in injured brain. Should I, can I play music with you? Yes. <laughs> music Corps pairs up veterans with some of the world's biggest stars. This is Eric, one of our lead guitar players. That's Roger Waters, frontman of Pink Floyd. And after seeing the crowd at last year's Stand Up For Heroes event, Roger had an idea. I thought, what if they would let me try and put a band together that had a bunch of the guys in it? These guys. They became the Wounded Warriors Band. This is a dream I can't imagine you ever thought of. No. I never, never imagined it. Tonight, together on the stage, you might not always see their scars, you will see their souls. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, New York. And with the gratitude of this country, you can go to abcnews.com to see how you can watch the Stand Up for Heroes event at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and also learn how you can join a mentoring program for veterans. We are so glad you were watching tonight. We're always here at abcnews.com. Nightline will be along later, and we will see you back in New York tomorrow night. Good night.